John, when it's a known statistics that uh, parents to children with special needs divorce at a higher rate than you know the general uh, population, and and that really scares parents when they find out about it, and some of them feel like they're doomed. Uh, what do you think might be one, two, three causes that cre create that, and some suggestions, of course, we're talking about that, that that doesn't need to happen? As we explored, as we explored before, there's higher risk of divorce when you have special needs children. This is statistically true. It's not for everybody. But a few points to keep your marriage together is to realize what goes wrong in relationships that fail. We often don't know. Why does it happen? Two people who love each other come together, committed, have a child, have a family, and suddenly they're divorcing. Well, a big part of that is the children have such needs that they focus so much on the children, they forget that it was two who first came together. And to create that connection, making time for themselves in the relationship, just as your children have special needs, to keep a relationship together, your relationship has special needs. And we can't forget that. We need to create time for that. We also need to have time for ourselves. Both men need time for themselves and women need time for themselves. Time to be with the children and time to be together without the children. If we can space out the timing in this way, your chance of having a thriving marriage will be much greater.